Major Slack videos. Boy, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Playing on very hard difficulty. Quiet, dude, but you want to walk through here. All right, now, can't hear myself think. Uh, got a beautiful little run worked out for this quest here, Revenge of the Nora. But before we do that, we have a couple of quick tutorials to the cleanup tutorials. These are really easy to accomplish. This is with the the Shadow Blast Sling. We can do both of them with the Shadow Blast Sling. Let's do this one first. Also, uh, we've gotten all the Shadow Weapons. I want to buy all the heavy outfits. With the exception of, let me just point out the ones I don't really like. That I don't think that are that useful. We definitely want to get this one. The Osirum Arrow Breaker Heavy, definitely. The Nora Protector Heavy. We already have this. Um, <laughs> I was wondering what's going on. How come I can't afford this? Uh, this one here, Nora Survivor Heavy. I don't think this is really useful. This is just personally my playstyle. This is like the kind of situation where you want one outfit that serves all the elemental resistance needs that you have. As you can see, it gives you 15 of each. 15 fire resistance, 15 freeze resistance, 15 shock resistance, and 15 corruption resistance. Um, as opposed to the ones that specialize in each particular elemental protection. For example, this one specializes in freeze, gives you 50 as opposed to 15. So this is for people who don't want a lot of outfits, like, you know, cluttering up their inventory, one for every occasion kind of thing. That's not me. So we're not going to get this at all. I'm going to rely on the ones that specialize in each particular elemental resistance. So we need, we've already got the Banuk, um, the Karja Blazon Heavy, we need the Banuk Ice Hunter Heavy, and we've already got the Osirum, we've already got the Shock, do we? Pretty sure we do. There we go, we already got the Spark Worker. All we need is the the one that pr provides Corruption Resistance, this one here, the Banuk Sickness, Eatner Heavy, what did I say? Eatner? <laughs> Eater. And we can we can buy that right now because we got a grazer heart and this one here which requires a strider heart I'm gonna to get to that later this one we're not gonna get and this one here which we can also get because we happen to have the crystal braiding your mileage may vary but I can afford it so let's get that so we just need one more the Bannock Ice Hunter Heavy and for that we're gonna need a strider heart this is going to pass on, and this we already got. So that's it. That's all the heavy outfits. Wait. Let's equip our new outfits. I primarily... Um, what did I say? Equip? Not equip. Um, craft, or rather mod. I primarily stick to the stealth outfit, but I have the other ones kind of like as backup, just in case shit goes sideways. Let's craft up these guys. Outfit. You there, corruption. Let's give you some corruption weeds. We just happen to have a couple of very rare corruption weeds. Very good. Gimme. And the other one, the arrow, is that the arrow breaker? Yep, that's the one. And I think I've only got one resist ranged attacks. These are hard to find, so that's all we could do with that. Alright, now we just need a strider heart for the Banuk Ice Hunter Heavy. And it just so happens that um, we're going to be doing this tutorial in a location where there's a lot of striders. Who's got the damage? Nope. You do. Yeah, give it up. Let's put those in the blast sling. Alright, Blast Sling ready to go. Alright, the first one. Kill three machines with proximity bombs. This is easy. This is dead easy. Just go to a site where there's some watchers or striders. Preferably striders because um 
we want to attempt to get a strider hurt. That's it. Let's go back to our original strider site way back here at the beginning. This guy right here. See if we can uh, rustle up a strider hurt. If not, we'll just buy it. It's only 200 shards. So if he fails, not gonna like sit here and farm for 15 minutes. Not gonna bother because it's only 200 shards at the machine resources merchant. No biggie. We can afford it. But we gotta do this anyway, so let's see if we can get lucky. Alright, now the tutorial says that we have to kill three machines with proximity bombs. You don't really have to like try to plan to lay the proximity bomb in the path of the machine that you want to kill. Just launch it right at it. You know, it's no biggie. And if it lands on it, it's going to blow up. So all we have to do is just find whatever. There's a watcher. Let's work on the striders. That's one. That's a lens for sure. If it's green, it's a lens. Just slack all of this, slack all it. What are you? Oh, you're a scrapper. No, no, no. And of course, as soon as I press record, the sirens start. That's two. Alright, where did all the striders go? That's a watcher. That's three. Okay, so that's that tutorial done. Next. Sticky bombs to machines. Nope. That's the one. Alright, where did all these striders take off to? There they are over there. Let's see if we can get close and just launch in a bunch of sticky bombs. Let's see if we get lucky with the strider hurt. Hang on, I see ya. Yeah, right there. And I see a couple of more lens. I don't think we got lucky. Oh, wait a minute. No. Okay, we got some scrappers happening here. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to bother trying to farm these guys. Just want to see if I get lucky. Let's go back and just simply buy a Strider Heart. Anyways, to complete those tutorials here, back here to Meridian. What a fun game. I could play this to the end of time. Seriously. For the love of Gordon Frieden, Freeman, please let Horizon Forbidden West be bug free. Please. Let it not be a cyberpunk catastrophe. Just do a good job. Get it out there relatively bug free so we can have some fun. You hear me, Horizon developers? Okay, so here we go. Um,
There we go. Done and done. Back to this guy. I prefer the one about the sun priest. And that's the one that remains. Nope, not equip it. But let's mod it up. That's the one. I think I got a couple of resist frost. One is not the best, but it'll do for now. Mission accomplished. Next. Revenge of the Nora. This is going to be a lot of fun. A lot of stealthing. And we're going to go be, be collecting a lot of uh, collectibles too. Mr. Map, where is this? I just love doing this with Mr. Map. <laughs> so much fun. All right, let's get down to it. We got to take down, we got a lot of collectibles here. We got to clear three camps. One, two, three. Let's do it to it. Just looking at my cheat sheet here. There's a lot to remember. I got some beautiful little stealth runs worked out and where all these collectibles are. First thing we're going to do is configure our loadout. All right. Slot number one, Shadow Hunter with fire damage. That's correct. Slot number two, I want another Shadow Hunter with regular damage. Who's got the regular damage? The Blast Sling. Okay. It goes back. Good. And Blast Sling, you can have the leftover. Wait a minute. I want to put some. This is not how I wanted it. I wanted to put the best damage mods on a sharp shot bow. Yeah, okay, my bad. Best damage mods on a sharp shot bow. Okay, and the leftovers on Shadow Hunter bow. Very good. Your slot number one, your slot number two, slot number three. This is kind of a wild card. Um, mostly human enemies, some corrupted watchers. I think probably the best since uh, I don't have any more damage mods, but that's okay. And I really kind of uh, anticipated that. Let's put the trip caster in slot number three. So we'll put some uh, shock mods on that. And slot number four, we're going to put the Shadow Sharp Shot with the damage mods. All right. This Shadow Sharp Shot with the damage mods with precision arrows is going to do all the heavy lifting when we're in the camps, clearing the camps. Let's make sure we got lots of arrows. Okay. Precision arrows. This Shadow Hunter Bow with fire damage. It's going to do all the heavy lifting with regards to Watchers and Corrupted Watchers. Um, with a Corrupted Watcher, as you can see, my fire damage is up to 55. With this, we can pretty much one-shot a Corrupted Watcher with a single fire arrow if, you're, if your fire damage is up to 55. I didn't like um, test to see how low that can go, but I can do that. So. If you can get close to 55, you should be able to do the same. 
a corrupted red eye red eye watcher is going to require um, some extra extra sauce. <laughs> So we're going to have to load up three arrows for those guys. Probably a double shot of three arrows. And if there's a bunch of them, maybe lay out a perimeter with a... Um, with a trip caster. Yeah, I think that's the best. Maybe thinking, why not put fire mods on the trip caster? Because what's going to happen is they're likely to be already on fire when they run into the trip wires. So it will have little to no effect. It will just kind of. I'd rather just um, shock them. Like, more like crowd control. Yeah, so that's the plan. All right, so camp number one, and we have an ancient vessel right nearby. Got everything set up. Don't want to have to do this again just in case Mr. Fumblefinger screws this up. So let's do a quick save and let's get busy. There's the camp. Get your stealth on. There's a watcher right there. And it is a corrupted watcher. A regular one. So we can just one shot him with a single fire arrow. Another one over there. And the alarm. It's up there. But we'll deal with that later. What's your story? You're going away. Let's just get over here. There's one of our guys. Here we go again. Down he goes. Beautiful trifecta. Machine, stealth, and burning hill. Okay, now, this camp you want to approach from the north side and come in like that. It's the best way to go. Load up your sharp shot bow with the extra damage. Let's sneak on in. Shoot now, loot later. You'll find this ladder right here. The guy right up there, let's tag him. Tag him. Let's go for it. Do him in. There's the alarm right there. He's gonna come over here, stop, and he turns around and retreats or goes back. The work <laughs> Stepped in some shit, eh? <laughs> Those damn watchers. <laughs> the alarm. Down he goes. And one more guy there.
That's it. One camp down. Two to go. Be prepared. What are you doing? Hey guys. Let's say nice work, but I did all the heavy lifting, so huh. You're welcome. Okay, I think I got all the loot. I don't really care. If I was playing casually I'd look very carefully around for all the loot, but I don't want to bore you, so don't hold it against me if I miss something. I'm doing this for your benefit. Alright. Ancient vessel. Uh my notes say follow the path along the south side of the camp toward the east. That's exactly where we're gonna do it. Yeah, it should be right there, right on the path. There it is. That's that ancient vessel right there. Got that. And that's what we got. Next ancient vessel, find the campfire east of camp number two. There's the campfire east of camp number two. And we're going there. And let's get the watcher guard on. Okay, here we go. We got some watchers here. A little bit of watcher activity. And some bacon. Bugger off. Let's get on with it. And that was a regular watcher. Down you go. Attaboy. Get another watcher over here. It's a regular watcher. This guy looks like he gave up a boar skin. He did. And I think I need a boar skin or something. Right here. Perfect. Great. Trip caster maxed out. Oh shit, there's a third watcher. Let me just take some cover over here. And see him. And you are a regular watcher, yeah. Make sure you check them all. Because some of them are corrupted red eye watchers. And we went it to level 28. Save that perk point for now. <laughs> Sorry, skill point. Playing Skyrim here. Hang on. Night. Okay, I'm ready. I love the way they ride around like that while they're on fire. It's just it's so satisfying. I got a trifecta out of that one. And there is the ancient vessel that we're looking for. It's right in front of that building there. Let's go get that right now. Here we go, ancient vessel USRC, plus some other goodies, take it all. So we got two of this set. Take this stuff, Ayla. There we go. 
Next, discover that campfire. Let's go for this metal flower here. My notes say go to ground zero of the market and then look southwest to see the ruins with the hanging moss. Can do. I'm not kidding, that's what my notes say. <laughs> Bad boar. Bad. <laughs> Tough, but I'm used to it. Lots of wildlife out here. And I see it already. It's right here. But it's just to follow my notes. My notes say, go to ground zero of the market, then look southwest to see the ruins with the hanging moss. Let's do, the, do that. What I mean by ground zero is just go right directly to the center of the marker on the map. Okay, so now we're pretty much at ground zero. Then look to the southwest. There we go. And as you can see, it's right there. More to the west, but, you know, close enough for rock and roll. Okay, so there is your metal flower. Now what were you doing out here? And that's that one right there. Here. Next, this ancient vessel. Um, we should discover this campfire first. I believe that is on the agenda. Yes, it is. Discover campfire. Campfire discovered. Ancient vessel marker is east northeast of the campfire. Go to ground zero, turn south southwest, find the vessel in the lone ruined building. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we got some activity here. Some corrupted scrappers. I don't think we really need to deal with them. Okay, so we're at ground zero, and then my notes say look, turn south, southwest. South. There's something coming up behind me. It sounds like a sawtooth. There it is. This is the building right here with the hanging moss. Hey, this kind of like this structure right here. And ancient vessel KZ. So now they got three of this setting. We only need to find one more. Excellent. And that's it. Coming up is camp number two. Let's kick off from this campfire right here. All right, that's coming up first thing next video. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you found this walkthrough helpful, hey, post a comment. I'd love to hear from my target audience. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.